Dear students, we are going to discuss about access matrix in this video. We know what a matrix is. A matrix is written as elements of uh, in rows and columns. So we have rows and columns in a matrix, and elements are written in that matrix. So similarly, a protection model can be represented as matrix, and this matrix is called access matrix. The rows in the access matrix represent domains that is rows represent domains and the columns represent the objects or the resources and the entries in the matrix so here we have read print execute and so on the entries in the matrix represent the operations that a process can perform on an object in a particular domain so please look at the picture let's say there is a process d1 which is present in domain d1 and domain d1 now we have four domains here d1 d2 d3 and d4 and we have four objects or resources so we have three files f1 f2 and f3 and we have a printer if a process d1 is present or is executing in domain d1 then it can perform operations on f1 because there is an entry here corresponding to f1 and it can perform operations on f3 because it has an entry corresponding to f3 so a process can read f1 or a process can read f3 similarly if this t1 is executing or any other process for that matter let's say ti is executing in domain d2 then it can only access the printer it has no other it has access to no other object similarly if the process is executing in domain d3 then it can execute uh, sorry it can um, access f2 and f3 only and it can read f2 and it can execute f3 that is uh, a, pro a process executing in domain d3 can read the file f2 and it can execute the file f3 similarly if it is present if a process is present in domain d4 then it can read and write f1 it can read and write f3 whereas it cannot access f2 neither can it access a printer now we have learned about domain switching so there are uh, times where a process can a process will have to switch from one domain to another so this domain switching also can be represented using an access matrix here along with the resources f1 f2 f3 and a printer the other domains are also represented as objects of the matrix so whatever we have here these columns represent um, so all of these represent objects whereas these represent domains we we know that very well so here we have four domains as it is the, the exact same domains are represented as objects also in the matrix so this matrix where you have um, domains as objects is required to represent domain switching now there is an access right now this read print execute write all of these whatever we have read is an access right print is an access right uh, execute is an access right switch is an access right so if a process is executing in ti so that is uh, sorry in uh, d1 let's say a process ti is executing in d1 then it can read f1 it cannot perform any operations on f2 it can read f3 it cannot use the printer and an access right switch an entry switch is going to represent or is going to tell that a process in d1 in domain d1 can switch to domain d2 similarly if process ti is running in d2 let's say so in that case it can access the printer and the process can switch to domain d3 and domain d4 now if the process ti is executing in p3 then this may be the same process ti or it can be any other process also 
if the process is executing in domain DC, then it can read file F2, it can execute file F2. If a process is executing in D4, then it can read and write F1, it can read and write F3, and it can switch to domain D1. So once it switches to domain D1, it will be able to uh, you know, read F1, uh, read F3, and it can switch to domain D2, and so on. So your processes can switch in, uh, you know, within different domains. So once your process has switched to domain D1, it knows it can switch to domain D2. Once it switches to domain D2, if it has to print something, then that it can access your printer, or it can even switch uh, back to domain D4, and so on. So this domain switching is going to be represented this way where the domains are also represented as objects. Thank you.